Hi everyone, welcome to Race Space. Tonight we are doing the qualifying for our final uh, round of the Rally Fighters Championship here at Wildcrest in South Africa. I'm K9, and joining me on the stream tonight, as always, is Ratek. How's it going, man? Ah, very good, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Looking forward to uh, racing here. It's going to be an interesting event. It's always yeah. uh, a track full of action. Definitely is, isn't it? It's, uh, I can't believe it's the, the last round of the season as well. It's yeah, just, so uh, it's been our longest season we've ever done. Um, it's 10, 10 events. Uh, and this is the 10th and final event. We pretty much, I think it's every stage that the game gives apart from the two dirt fish layouts uh, that we don't do we just do the pro course here but there's obviously mill run and boneyard um but yeah no it was it was a long one and it was pretty cool i've enjoyed it seems to have, seems to have flown by though seems to have ran around town pretty quick uh, for me yeah but yeah this it's just the qualifying and then finals will be on Wednesday for anyone that hasn't watched these before and that will be the final race of season 4 and we hope to do many more seasons we don't know how many uh, but we can hope for more right so the guys are in Mark or Ratek as you guys know him is uh, ready to race on this one I am on commentary for the first race uh, everyone's got their thumbs up so they're ready to go so good luck to everybody good luck uh, Ratik cheers mate I, uh, I never seem to have uh, a great amount of luck going into the first race but uh, you know hopefully tonight's a different night so good luck I'll leave you to it thank you everyone just needs to check their fuel and everything going forward it is also a wet race so we haven't had many of these uh, trying to think back it was a while ago was it uh, I think it might have been Hockenheim it was uh, a wet one um, sure it seems like so long ago but uh, it'll be interesting because we've never done this as a wet race before in our series it is usually dry uh, obviously each season the the weather is slightly varied track to track so for some of these guys this might be the first time that they're doing this in the wet all right rat tech there on the front in the mini we got ali on the front in the ford his brother matsutsi in the black citron and dusty on the outside in that honda civic So they've readied up and they are good to go. The game is just sinking there. All right, good start there from Ali. Lots of uh, water there. Ratek just ducking up the inside. Gets a good run through that corner. So he's got uh, Ali hunting him down now. Dusty's made it through into third. So these front two doing a good job here. Neither of them going Joker. Dusty looks like he's gone up to Joker. He has. So Dusty, the first person to take that Joker lap. Where is that going to put him out later in the race? Tactical move there from Dusty. Dusty has also come out of that Joker ahead of Matsutsi. So that worked out for him. He's already up one position uh, unless he makes a mistake. You can just see a bumper flying off there, but it doesn't seem to be any major damage. Ratek staying on the standard lap there. Ali taking his joker. Very good run here from uh, Ratek. Remember, he still needs to take his joker though, so you'll be getting that over and done with in the next two laps 
side by side around that corner. Ali out of the Joker, ahead of Dusty, so great run for him there. Dusty taking a quick look on the inside there, but uh, backing out last minute. Ooh, just clipping the outside of the track there, and a little bit of contact between these two. That's going to slow them down a bit, so just freeze it up for Ratek, who's through the Joker, and now he's just sending it onto his last lap. As long as he keeps it clean, he's looking like he's going to get a good run here. Ali comes out of that uh, little bit of a tanglement earlier in second place. Dusty there running in third. Remember, Dusty has won the last three events in a row, so he's not slow. He also has the fastest uh, lap time on all the tracks pretty much in the game by now. Remember, those will be on dry conditions, so we haven't really seen Dusty in a wet condition race yet. Ratek over the line in first, Ali in second, Dusty in third, and Matsutsi. He's spun out up the hill. Just runs it wide into the barriers. He's struggling here a little bit in the wet. So he didn't manage to finish in time, but uh, pretty good run from the other three, especially Ratek. Good job. Yeah, cheers, man. It was uh, nice to get that under my belt. I think we've we've found your track in that mini. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely the water makes it uh, makes it a different track altogether. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not South African secretly? <laughs> 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 it is a track I do uh, I do enjoy this one. It, uh, I don't know, it seems to suit the mini a little bit better, being a tight tight track, relatively low speed. Yeah, it's a pretty yeah. pretty good one. It's uh, it's a tough one, and uh, sometimes I think the full send approach uh, really benefits you here. Although I was struggling a bit earlier, so not sure how it's going to benefit me. Definitely that uh, first corner. <laughs> invites you to uh, hit that handbrake halfway down the straight, so that's uh, it's always yeah. exciting. Anyways, so that was exciting. Anyone that uh, is watching this that uh, doesn't know Project Cars, uh, this is a fictional track. It uh, doesn't exist in real life, but uh, it's still very entertaining. I think it's, it's probably that... probably got more dirt than any other track in the game that I can think of. Yeah, I'd, I'd go with you on that one. I think the majority of the, this track is on dirt, isn't it? I think there's like a slight section with like maybe a little bit of tarmac, but then the uh, rest of it's just dirt. It's how we like it here, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm in this one. we got Ratek going in as the director. So if you want to see from a track side uh, when I'm racing, you go on Ratek's stream. And if you want to see when Ratek's racing from the track side, you check my stream. You can check our names there in the brackets on our streams we're running. There's two streams running at the same time. Uh, but yeah, you can jump in in between. If you want to see what it's like on board, you can stick there. Uh, with me, I'm probably going to crash a bit, so <laughs> it might be entertaining if you like that, might not be if you don't like that. Uh, just get out in front, mate. Stick it, as All they right. say. <laughs> so we got uh, myself, Kento, Mark, Berries, and Kenny. I think everyone's here. It's a five-car race. There should have been five cars in the previous one. We were missing a driver tonight, though, so... All of these races, four and five cars, quite full grids. Let's get this underway. Good luck to everybody. Best of luck, mate. Thank you. Have fun. Yeah, as these guys uh, just load in for the race, as Carl was saying, this track uh, is very, very interesting one. Um, different turns, sharp turns, uh, nice flowing section through, uh, I think that's uh, the second section in the yellow there. But uh, the first corner can always be quite tricky. Five cars going into that first corner, it's a sharp, 
sharp right, and then uh, you've got that kink that follows. Everybody needs to drop in formation. It, it's hard to go two cars abreast through that section there. We'll uh, see how these guys get on. I think uh, I haven't quite got the official points myself, but I think Kenny is still out in front in this championship. We've got him in this one in that Ford. Uh, not too sure how loud the Fords go around this track, whether they're going to be a little bit big or whether they do get a lot of traction. You can see Mark, uh, Mark there on pole with K9 alongside him. K9's got a nice rough to and keep an inside line, Ferries, Kenny, second row, and then uh, Kento in the Honda at the back. Kento seems to uh, just go into the back of him. Ferries and uh, Kenny just go together a little bit there. Kenny's facing the wrong way. There is in second with Pento right behind him. P9, he's a little bit of air there between him and Berries at the moment. Well, now we're in it. Berries moving forward there at that time to the section there. It's a mark that's uh, disconnected, so there's not a real hazard to the start line, so that's P9. Rip ran that first corner, Harry's uh, at the same distance behind. We've got Kento who's in his jump already in third place. We've got the Honda. We've got Kenny in fourth, just behind Kento. Uh, Kenny shipped there going for his jump. I did not to get that out of the way. down K9 a little bit and then Kenny has got in front of Kento as well so we'll change position on the last lap there <laughs> I lost uh, some traction there the corner and just ran it wide I couldn't get the pull <laughs> I, I went right, around too much fucking gears you were flat out on the floor I bet you it was a good yeah, race. Just, uh, yeah, it seemed good. It was, uh, it's looking uh, like an exciting race. Don't know what happened to Mark there. He dropped out right at the beginning. Yeah, I don't know whether his controller had connected or something because he never came off the actual start line. So we're fortunate for him there. But yeah, this is looking like it's going to be entertaining. I think uh, the wet weather changes the dynamic quite a lot. Uh, compared to some of the other stuff we've seen in the season, definitely does. I mean, like, I, I know this track in the dry, and this must be the first time I've ever, you know, driven on it in the wet, and it's it's changed the uh, the driving style completely. Really, in a way, it's 
on that tarmac section coming over the finishing line, it's definitely uh, the car's wanting to push on a bit for me. Yeah, sorry, I'm just uh, messaging somebody. Check. Uh, yeah, we got we got you, Matsuzi, Carlo, yeah, Kento, yeah. Mark in this one, so hopefully Mark will uh, have any issues sorted. I think it looked like a, a controller wasn't connected properly. K9's just having a, a moment just to uh, calm, calm his nerves before he goes into the second, uh, second uh, round of qualifying. Uh, well, I was erasing this one. Now I'm just uh, speaking to Mark. <laughs> so. It uh, was an issue with gears because he's on control. He obviously has automatic gears. Um, the lobby settings were just a bit messed up uh, from some previous stuff that I joined. That's why it's nice to get people using the same lobby settings um, in the community because it uh, defaulted the gears to manual for everyone. So uh, he says right, he retired. Yeah, he couldn't pull off the line. Nah, uh, he's going to have a major problem with that, isn't he? Cause, uh... But I've changed it now, so we're all sorted. Um, should should be uh, good to go now. So, in this one, we've got uh, Mark again, myself, we've got Matsutsi and Kento. Let's do this. Alright. Qualifying two. Already. Three that <laughs> first one. Uh, we got two, two Citroens here. Yeah. Yeah, two Citroens. Uh, there are a lot of drivers that have got a, a full send approach there. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever going to see a full send, it's going to be in this race. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll, uh, I'll try and keep the cameras on the uh, cars that are doing the full send uh, approach. <laughs> Turn one is going to be interesting. Good luck, everyone. Yep, good luck, mate. Enjoy. Right, second round of qualifying then. Through the first round already. Let's see uh, who's going to come out on top this time. Everyone just having a little bit of a feel for the track, except for Mark. Hopefully this time that problem is rectified. He gets to experience it. So we've got uh, Mark on pole again, so the, the uh, computer's being uh, fair to him. Putting him on that uh, same starting grid with the uh, other Citroen of uh, Matsuti and K9 and, and Kento on the second row. Let's see who gets a good launch this time. Uh, Mark's away nice and cleanly. K9 seems to be left on the uh, left on the start there. Mark's just overshot the first corner. That's led the, the pack to go up the inside. Meanwhile, it's Kento uh, out in front with K9 right on his bumper. Didn't quite see what happened to Matusi, whether he ran out wide on that first corner. And, um, K9 there uh, chasing down Kento. Kento running it right out to the edge of the track. K9 decided to go for his joker. That's, uh, I'd say that was a fantastic move. Kento looked a little out of shape there. Kento carrying some good pace, round over there, comes down in front of K9. All he has to do is joke, but oh, he runs, gets the back wheels right on like a full send by both of them. Kento still just too much full send into our second corner, but definitely, uh, he's definitely trying, he's feeling the pressure of K9. He's going to shoot back to Matsuzi here. He's to be all under control, nice full send. You'll see that from everyone's uh, just controlling the vehicle on the handbrake park. It's a little bit further back. It's, uh, oh, so what's, uh, what's happened here? Paint 9 is still in second place, but it's a Joe, K9 just clipped a barrier or something. 
lot of time now, but that suits the, uh, so they're all joking now, but that suits is absolutely flinging that car sideways. He's getting, uh, he's also almost looking back on himself. So he's losing time to K9 a little bit there. He's shooting over the curve. He's, um, yep, he's absolutely 180 back on himself when he's uh, around his corner. Uh, just uh, first time out around this track in uh, his condition, so he's just split, taking it nice and steady. Car still looks intact. Back to Kento, just going through that last section. Yeah, that Honda revving well, so he's uh, he's going to be happy taking a, a heat win here. K9. Just going over the jump now. Any missing the front bumper gives it a full sand over the line. Matsuchi, he's coming over the jump. Oh. <laughs> that was a, a sigh of. I messed I up the turn there. just after the joker <laughs> when Kenta took the joker. I uh, ran it wide, clipped the wall with the back of my car, and it flipped me around the wrong way, so I had to reverse. I thought it did seem like you dropped a bit of time uh, yeah. to get to at that point, but that was a good race. Uh, I must say, Natsuchi, he's almost 180 looking back on himself when he's uh, coming around some of them corners. He is... He's definitely one of the best uh, full senders. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, we'll have to s send him a trophy, I think, for... Uh, Angle of approach to oh, a corner. Most, well, most angle. Where was that angle of approach on on Dirtfish? I don't remember it there coming out of the tunnel. <laughs> I think he's improved his uh, angle of approach. Yeah, I think uh, with this wet weather, it's definitely uh, looks like he's having to use that that approach to uh, to keep the car in. You know, within the track, like right, in barriers and stuff. So. All right, so we got Dusty, Berries, Kenny, Ali, and Retic. This isn't a hard eat, is it? So, <laughs> if you want to check the track side, make sure you're on my uh, stream, the K9 stream. All right, I think this is everybody. Uh, yep. Dusty Berries, Kenny Alley, and Mark. It's been a pity just running the one VW for most of the season. It, uh, I kind of miss that yellow VW of Marius. Yeah, it would have been good to see him uh, continue with the rest of the season, wouldn't it? He was looking. Yeah, he, he was, was looking, looking good. strong. He had a bit of uh, unlucky. Uh, things happen, I guess, in the finals and things, but his qualifyings were always pretty strong. Yeah. All right, let's get this underway. And another guy yeah. that I've been missing this season is uh, Artem from Russia. I miss that uh, pink Ford of his. Yeah, blue, he was always one to uh, easily, uh, easily spot, wasn't it? It's, uh... He was having some good runs as well. Yeah, hopefully we get uh, most of those guys back soon. Yeah. TK right. Bear, oh, another one. All right, loading in there, we can see the track map. Very tricky uh, joker section there. It's very difficult uh, to turn in there uh, safely. I don't know if you were watching my stream earlier when I was racing you can see that uh, when Kento went in ahead of me some of the cars get some serious angle there they slow down a lot uh, while the car behind them is still carrying a lot of speed so very dangerous uh, entry and when you exit it's not easy to see what uh, cars are around you when you come out of that uh, joker so it is a make or break section and people have to be very careful going through there Right, got Dusty here on the front now. Ratek off to a brilliant start there. He's holding that inside. Kenny and Dusty are taking a look up the inside, but uh, Ratek holds on to it. 
it's uh, Kenny up into second place now behind Ratek. You can see Berries chasing there in the background. Dusty immediately into that Joker lap. He's followed by Ali. So strong run there from Dusty. He comes out in the same position that he went in, in third place. Barry's just going a bit wide there. Ali up the inside. So Mark looking very comfortable in this rain here on this track. Uh, he's had some brilliant races. He's got a bit of pressure from Kenny there. Neither of them taking that joker. Two cars over the jump. Mark just running it a bit wide, but that allows Kenny up the inside. So Kenny into first place now. It might be a tactic here to do the Joker for one of these cars. Is anyone going to do it? Neither of them take that Joker, so we got uh, Dusty, who has taken his Joker, breathing down Ratek's neck there. Ratek and Kenny still need to do that Joker, though, so is this going to be a strong enough run for Dusty to come out in front of these two? You can just see berries there falling away a little bit. So remember, the first two runners here have to go into the joker lap. There goes Kenny, followed by Ratek, who's got a very tight line in. I think it slowed him down a little bit. He just didn't get enough momentum to slide through that uh, corner. So Dusty up into second place, and that's how they're going to finish here. So we got Kenny, Dusty, Ratek, Ali in fourth, and Berries over the line in fifth place. Pretty interesting race that one. Yeah, it was fun. A lot of pressure coming off Kenny there. Yeah, and, uh, I I actually <laughs> thought he would joke uh, earlier to to try and see if he could pull the gap, but uh, I think that's sort of what his tactic was. He was just applying pressure and uh, waiting to see if you made a mistake. I uh, I knew he'd done it even at the breaking point down into that turn one. I thought I've left yeah. it too late. <laughs> It's, good it's, run, pretty, good run it's for pretty tough because if you do it too early, like you think you slide a lot more than what you do. So I've done it a few times where you you slide, but you don't have enough momentum to to actually get around the corner and you cut it short, which uh, can slow you down a lot as well. So it's a very uh, fine line of full send and and uh, actually getting it right. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, a slight mistake going into the Joker. I Give it a big full send and... Uh, I did the same earlier. Time. I can't remember if it was the first or the second one, but uh, exactly the same thing. Is you send it there, but then you, there's that little wall on the, the uh, inside of that turn, and you yeah. struggle to get around it uh, if you don't have enough slide. Yeah, that uh, seems how it be, but it's good race, good race, no, uh, no contact from uh, myself, Kenny, and... Dusty, we were close on track, so good control. Yeah, it was a good race to watch. So, on to qualifying three now, race one. So, there's only nine drivers, uh, guys, so that means that every round of qualifying here is just two races. We are on qualifying three, race one. So that is myself, Matsutsi, Kenny, Ali, and Kento. Kenny, Ali, and Kento. Cool. Looks like we're all good to go. Yeah, I'm sure Kenny's going to uh, apply a lot of pressure here if he's not uh, out that first corner in front. <laughs> he's, uh, he's definitely quick, and uh, his driving style, I 
don't know how he's managing to keep it so smooth on this track. He, he, his car doesn't look like it's getting at the angles that everyone else is. Remember, Kenny is the defending champion of the Rally Fighters, and I'm pretty sure after this event he's going to go on and uh, win it again, become our second uh, or become our first ever two time Rally Fighters winner. So, Double champion, fair play to him. Yeah. Uh, shows his skills. He's definitely, and it's in two different cars as well. His first. The win in the season was uh, in the Honda. Honda, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready to race right. the champion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a good, um, you got a good starting uh, position there with uh, you, and Matsuti, uh, on the front row, Ali and uh, Kenny on the second row, and that'll be Kento at the back of the Honda. And Kento looks strong before in that. Uh, race to the he won Ali with a super launch oh, yeah he's got a disconnection there he's uh thought it looked too good Matsus is running outside of K9 K9 gives him room K9 slips into that uh, first thing Matsus is just clipped the barriers which is uh you've got a lot of contact into Kanto and uh Matsus is there just struggling the camera can't even see them but Kenny's decided to go for his joker. That's uh, taking the, the visual pressure off K9. He's had a good run through that joker. K9 uh, just going over that jump. Focus uh, following him behind. Just check about Matsutsi there. He's just coming over the jump there. His car doesn't look too damaged. Uh, I think uh, Kento, looking at Kento, he's, he's done his joker and ran wide there. He's, he's Missing the bumper, saw him go off, off the barrier quite high. Uh, I mean, uh, quite a good run in this one, but just keep your head down. And, uh, and Matsus has made a mistake, so that's slowed Kento through. And uh, Kento has done his joker as well. Back to the front, you can see Kenny just uh, breathing down the neck of uh, K9. K9, beautiful, uh, tight slide there. Send into that first corner, just defending off um, Kenny. It's, uh, Kenny will be used to that, seeing a mini uh, giving it full send in front of him just from the previous race. Uh, so Kenny's uh, just holding, uh, holding time, he runs out wide. I thought he was going to spin him then, but uh, he managed to uh, not hit the barrier with too much force. But he's just come over the jump, and I thought he was going to hit that barrier. Kind of like unsettled himself coming over there, which has dropped him a lot of time. So now K9, if he keeps it smooth, good run for the Joker. He could take this qualifying uh, two, three, even. Everyone else has jokered. K9, Kenny, Kento, and uh, that suits is a bit further back now. He's dropped a lot of time there. K9 is nice and smooth through the Joker, gives it a full send coming out. Can hear Kenny, but there's enough time for K9 to uh, take that win. Kenny's grinding his bad bumper, so even though uh, Kenny had done a, a half spin coming over that jump the last time, he's uh, still fast. Kento coming home in third place there. Just the <laughs> You're with the pressure in that race. <laughs> it's not nice, is it, having that focus behind you, mate? I tell you. How uh, quick does he do that joker, though? That's impressive. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very smooth, even in these wet conditions. Matt Suits is really struggling still at the moment. He's, uh, piece of driving. Great job his car had picked up a lot of damage. Yeah, I think this one's a tough one uh, for, for, for the full, full send approach. Uh, and uh, Matsutsi, he likes to full send. Yeah. Are you showing, uh, showing why he's uh, reigning champion? It's yeah. it's very impressive driving, I have to say. Like watching him go around the turns, like arm sideways, just sending. And then you just see him, he, he almost looks like he's just driving around. Like he's got good yeah. grip the whole way. It's, it's impressive. He must be using the... Uh, 
can you use a different off-road tire? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something we haven't found, I think. Uh, ice tires. Yeah. No, I gave I gave those uh, ice tires a try earlier. They bought more <laughs> slidey. They more slidey uh, than than the normal. I'm actually on dry tires uh, at the moment. Right, so I'll, okay. I'll see how those go. Anyways, uh, on to the next race. We got Dusty Jacques, but Jacques's not racing. So Dusty Mark which is Ratek, um, Berries, and Mark. So, got the two Marks. I go director, we got our other Mini on. Okay, I think this is everybody. Are you yeah. ready to rumble? Let's do this. <laughs> Just the, uh, showing his usual pace again. He's, he's uh, another quick one, isn't he? Dusty is very very scary I don't know like I said earlier we haven't seen a lot of Dusty in the rain but I'm sure he'll adapt quickly uh, as he seems to do and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's uh, he's in the running to win here uh, on Wednesday I think you you won here last season, didn't you? So you're also in that running. Uh, you're looking <laughs> strong in that mini. I don't think uh, it's quite got the pace. I'm uh, full sending it to hold them off at the moment. But <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see if I can improve it. Good luck. Yep. All right, so we can see Mark on the inside again. Uh, I think he's started there a few times now. He seems to get good launches off there, so it's a good position for him to be in. Barry's on the front now, so let's see what he can do from the outside. We got Dusty there in the Honda at the back and the Citroen of Mark. Somebody's disconnected here, though. Oh, no, it's Ratek, so that is not what he wanted. Jump start by Ratek. That is going to hurt his qualifying results uh, for Wildcrest. So Dusty out in front now. Berry's in second place and Mark there in the background. Yeah, might as well come and join you on commentary. <laughs> yeah, neither of the front two here jokering. Does Mark do it? No, he takes the standard. So I'm not sure exactly what you see your side if you are uh, in a spectator mode or what but yeah, uh, I'm on cameras, I'm on dusty and we're moment. checking dusty at the front at the moment uh, that yeah. honda lost its bumper here it, the honda looks quite uh, aggressive without that front bumper it's got a very uh, angled front yeah it doesn't look like it would be very aerodynamic like that does it <laughs> yeah berries into berries. his joker now so let's see what it looks like taking the joker by berries can see he's also missing his front bumper so the track very difficult here with bumps everywhere very easy to lose your bumpers it's quite an aggressive track this one you gotta it's it invites you to to really send it in these corners it's not like a lot of these tracks where you can get away with uh, not scratching your car if you drive it right this one is uh, brutal on the car Definitely is. It's, it's just checking out Mark there. He's also done his Joker, but uh, just doesn't seem to have. The Remember, Mark is it. our only uh, person on controller these days, so might be struggling a bit on this track. Also in the wet conditions. But Dusty That's holding off to do his Joker on the final lap here, so we will see him going now. He's looking pretty uh, controlled there, though. I think he's going to have enough here if he gets his joker right. Just took it a little bit tight. I think he slowed down a bit more than he thought. I think he tried to turn too early. But uh, he's out of there in the lead still, so... That's Mark, but he's been lapped. Got a little bit confused. Yeah, me too. For a second, I thought Mark was going to win. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> oh, very unfortunate for that DQ there. So that's uh, two people with a DQ in the third round because Ali did it in 
Ellie always takes someone with him in a qualifying <laughs> session. <laughs> we weren't even in the same heat and he took me with him. I blame Ali on that one. <laughs> so. You gotta take them ones on the chin. Okay, I'm hoping that my uh, stream is still running. I just hit the button by accident. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, hang on a minute. Um, disconnect out. No. I will be joining back in in a minute, Kyle. I've uh, left the lobby. Oh, okay. Reason. Hey, oh, I've had a DQ and you've, it's really unsettled me. Yeah, you've also hit the wrong button. Same, same yeah, as yeah. me. Just as Ali did, I took you with me. Okay, so we are on to qualifying four now. Can you believe it? It goes quick with these two races per um, it? per round. I think season two we were on like five races per per round that takes a while okay so we have Matsutsi, Mark, Ali, Ratek and Kento so Ratek you get another run try not to okay. jump this time try my best but I <laughs> promise is that is Ali in this one with me? Ali is in this yeah, one yeah, so he yeah, might yeah. he might uh, <laughs> take you with him you got Kento uh, is in, and we got Matsutsi. So this is all ready to go now. Good luck to everybody for your final race of qualifying. Just a little bit of background for anyone that is watching that might not be uh, so used to the Rallycross format and how it all works. It is four lap races for qualifying. Each race is four laps long. In those laps, you have to take the Joker lap, which is that uh, section marked there with the stripes. That is the Joker. You have to take it once in the race. If you don't, then there is a big penalty. But uh, basically, it's a strategic move. you got to try and uh, use it to your advantage. It might slow you down. You might come out behind a slower car. And you can use it to, to give yourself a bit of a gap just to try set some faster laps. So it's quite an interesting uh, type of racing. Not like uh, the normal racing you might be used to. Anyways, the race is about to start. we got... Mark there on the front, the both Citroens on the front, so good uh, starting spot for them. But they both run wide into each other. Ali runs super wide into the Citroen of Mark. So Kento is leading here. Kento having a pretty decent run here at Wild Crest. Got Matsutsi there in the uh, Citroen. He is still holding on to second. Kento just runs it wide there. Both Kento and all three into the Joker, so they've all gone into the Joker there. Matsutsi full sideways out the Joker, and he runs it wide again, so struggling in the wet there. That means Kento comes out in front, so he is leading the race. He's taken the Joker, and he's winning. The cars behind him also taken their Joker. Ali has not taken the Joker, and he's got his brother in that Citroen right behind him. So can Kento put up with the pressure there from Ratek? Now these two have raced with each other in real life. They are friends uh, outside of this game. So there might be a bit of a friendly rivalry here. Kento has been improving all season long. Ooh, he runs it wide, just catches a bit too much curb and spins it. But he gets back into second place now. You just see Ali there up the inside, just pushes them both uh, wide there. So that has opened up 
the track now for Ratek to just put in the fastest possible lap time that he can. Ali in second place, Kento in third. Everybody here has taken their joker. Everyone doing it very early on in this race. Full send there from Ratek. So he's done a pretty good job here tonight, other than that uh, DQ, which is going to have hurt him quite a bit because he gets zero points for a DQ race. So it's likely that uh, Ratek and Ali will be very low on the qualifying uh, leaderboard here, but uh, they can still win the final. Oh, we can just see Kento ran wide there at the exit. He, I don't think he's crossed the line yet. That is not good news. Everyone coming past him now. We've got Matsutsi goes past. Kento is finally over. And Mark crosses the line there. We seem to be missing a driver here now. Somebody exited before the race was finished. So that is of no help to us now. And unfortunately, it's probably going to count as a zero points because we can't know the, the total time now. So that yeah. is unfortunate. Matsuti only is just uh, he left before the the timing came up. Yeah, because obviously we need the total times for the races to determine where you place. So unfortunately, that might be like a disconnection with no points, unfortunately, or will be points but low on the low on the table. Anyways, on to the final race here. We've got uh, Dusty, Berries, Kenny, and myself. Saving the best for last. The best Definitely. and me. Just don't go into the Joker. For it, we're following two other cars, mate. That wasn't a good yeah. move by me. <laughs> I, uh, I Once you commit there. sometimes on these tracks, it's hard to, to go back. That's the thing is, I had my line and I thought I've committed. And I saw Matsuti, I thought he's committed. And the next one, Kento. Uh, it worked out for you, though. Outside. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it was okay. It was, um, I think Kento was just running a bit, little bit wider each time. And, uh, and then, did he go into a barrier, I think? All right, so this is really the the saving the best uh, we got Kenny Dusty remember Dusty's won three events in a row Kenny defending champion and currently leading this championship and we know Barry is as fast he's picked up uh, a win or two this season um, so very and we also know tough that crowd K9 is, is going to be them all <laughs> uh, no, no excuses uh, this time K9 unleash the beast as they say well the last time the last <laughs> time I won an event the only event I've ever won is uh, in season one on this track so just like you we've, we've got those under our belt let's let's see if we can get yeah. another wild crest win for the mini <laughs> yeah they would, uh, we need a bit of luck but you know <laughs> well, I think we're due some uh, after the season that we've had so far but yeah okay good luck everyone yeah good luck to you all so it's, uh, it's going to be the uh, a good race this last uh, last round of qualifying of course everyone going through into the semis and stuff but it definitely uh, determines which semi-final you make it into depending on the, the point scores let's see who's going to take top honours in this one my money's still on K9 I think he's uh, he's been saving this Yeah, he can do that off the back of the grid with these boys, no problem. We've got Dusty and Berries on the uh, front row. 
with K9 and Kenny on the uh, second row there. Car's nicely spaced out, so uh, this turn one, I reckon. Dusty and Berries are going to take you to a wide. K9's on the perfect line to come to the inside, nice and tight. Jumped up. Let's see how they get on. Dusty having a good launch off the line there. He's doing, he's turned, and uh, Berries just collects up a little bit. Berries manages to get through. Kenny stayed out wide out of all the trouble there, and K9 was that tight that he, uh, he was out of the trouble. Dusty uh, on the back bumper of K9 and uh, Kenny's right behind Dusty as well. So uh, Barry's just out in front there. Dusty's gone for his joker. I think he's done that on most uh, most qualifying. He's gone for that on lap one. It can be a brave move, but uh, only had Kenny behind him. Barry's just uh, just stretching his legs a little bit now. Just pulled out a little bit, but. K9 just uh, see him full set there. Kenny, uh, Kenny took not too far behind him, but nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about having a reigning champion right behind you. There he is still out in front. It's still doing standard lap. K9 follows him. Kenny must have had a bit of a problem. He's dropped the lap back a little bit. He's had a you can see him rotated on the track there. He's, his bumper as well, so wherever that, that's has got a big curves. Can uh, really unsettle the car. Meanwhile, Barry is still leading. K9, not too far behind him. A little bit of a gap. Rusty in uh, third place, huh? See if anyone there. Uh, so Dusty has gone for his joke, so uh, K9's going to save it for the last lap and Barry's as well. The uh, running out wide, then barriers don't seem to uh, settle the Honda. Barriers now coming down, he breaks it down. Paul Brown that first corner, we can see K9 gives it a full, full, full send, and uh, Dusty was in the full send mode behind him. Kenny, meanwhile, he's dropped a lot of time. He's just damaged limitation. Barriers now coming around to the Joker, and Slips that inside curve, K9 runs wide but nicely controlled. This is going to be tight now. Berries and Dusty. K9, K9 just gets out in front of Dusty. Dusty's got the legs, he's got a faster run, it goes side by side over that jump. Dusty just gets his nose in front. That was a super tight finish, that was. Oh <laughs> shit, what a finish. <laughs> <laughs> He just had the run. I didn't want to go across and crash us. So I had to just like sit there. Yeah, it's, uh, they carry a lot more, <laughs> more speed than that uh, standard lap, don't they? But it's hard to get good. the pull in the wet as well. I felt like I was spinning tires a little. <laughs> Anyways, good uh, good race there. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, quite stick to it it nearly happened i thought on turn one i thought you're gonna go up the inside of these two because he no, uh, barry's just held it i did go up uh, yeah. the other guys where barry's held a good line and yeah good race from the guys unlucky for kenny there i think uh, with some of the chaos and the following behind he spun out but uh, yeah a tough track to follow on that's for sure yeah i think it, it's tough to make a, an overtake on track as well isn't it on, on here the joker can play a lot into it's it it's pretty but... much you you're basically just waiting for somebody to make a big mistake yeah to run out wide or something if you you've got a car in front of you on the racing line all the time really hard to make an overtake but very good racing tonight yeah it was Close good racing. yeah most of the overtaking and and position changes you're going to see is, is the joker lap and i'd say turn one um and then that turn just after if you don't take the joker lap it's quite a tight one and guys run it into the wall there a lot that's a common mistake uh you'll probably see a few guys crash there and some guys overtake them but uh yeah it's an interesting track very fast um very sideways that's what we like to see
anyways good run from everyone that was uh, a great one and uh, we'll see you guys on Wednesday the same time for the finals the finals will be six lap races it will probably still be wet and we'll have our last winner of the season announced at the end of that one so catch us then yep. Okay, mate. Until then, thanks for watching. Cheers. See you later.